street. You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't portray that. You don't talk it. Uh, it's just, oh, man, it's just negative people. Like, people just, just so negative, man. Man, now you and him, y'all brothers. Now we grew up, we, we like that. We grew up together from like eighty eight, eighty nine. Oh, okay. So y'all yeah, grew up together. Up. So you've been knowing him for like twenty and some odd years, or longer, thirty. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, damn near thirty. Oh, yeah, about thirty years. So was you there when the when the thing went down yesterday? Nah, unfortunately, I'm always with him. I wasn't with him. It's crazy. Because uh, I was listening to the show today. He was saying it happened like right outside his house, and they live in a gated. He live in a gated community. Yeah, he was like in one of them, like kind of like sky rises. He was Chicago, so you know them sky rises. You know how you know where good fancy people live in, you know? Right. And like, so it's like the way it happened. It was like a setup. You know what I'm saying? Because he like parked his car and. And this camera's there. That's the crazy thing. Like, these guys did that stuff on camera. Like, how stupid can y'all be? Like, what did y'all think it was going to be? You know, and like, I don't know, man. Like, it's one of those sky rises where, you know, important people live there. And like, right. you know, it was an inside job, man. It was definitely an inside job, man. It was messy. But it was definitely an inside job. So is this somebody in y'all circle? Gotta be somebody that he like that's that knows where he sleeps is, you know? Where he be got to be. Well, we kinda got an idea, but you know, we just gonna let the police finish working. We didn't already know, we we, can't, we just can't say nothing yet, you know? Put it out there, but we know. We know what's going on. Like, you know what I'm saying? We we kinda we know what's going on. And it's petty, you know, very, very petty. So is this somebody you think that used to work with y'all, like get paid with y'all, get money with y'all, jealousy, or? I would say it's just like, you know, you have entourage, right? You know, you just have people you grew up with, or people that was there, you know? And right. That, that's how it was, like, so it had to, you know, it was, just, it was close, because the way it happened so personal. Right. You know, the only thing you're grateful for is that, you know, thank God that, you know, he's good, alive, didn't hurt him. You know, and like, he's alive, but that just like really, that was a real scary moment for everybody. You know, saying, you know, Gil B and his uncle just died on some, some similar stuff like that, you know. And, yeah. And that's why he was all emotional, too, because, you know, like, some people were like, oh, it's an act. No, dude, it's not about that life. So for him to go do that, that's very traumatic for a guy that has never seen a gun down ever in his life. You know, all his life to live. You know, it's crazy. But we got an idea what's going on. We, we, we kind of know, like, two it was, can't talk too much. But right. It was a couple of, it was a few dudes. Two of them got caught, and one of them was still on the run. Oh, okay. So yeah, they they wrap this up pretty quick. Oh man, they're going hard. They are going hard. Like they're not like where you see what I'm saying to you know, like where the building they went to, they should have never went there. I don't know what important people live in there, but they should have never went over there and did that. Oh, that's crazy. Wow. That's just yeah. Jealousy, man. So, all right. So we basically don't like the general public wouldn't know basically who these people are. Um, you know, what's so crazy not the general public, but like let's say whoever like let's say like New York people, I don't know, like we're growing up together, like our people. You know what I'm saying? Like, right, right. We 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 would probably know like. Right, in that, but I mean, like the mainstream public, like if it hits social media, it's not going. They'll be like, "Well, who is that?" Yeah, and 
Because you think it's like as long as you ain't doing nothing, nobody finna do nothing to me. You know, yeah, like definitely. right. So it's always you gotta be on point. You gotta have security, even though you don't want to. You gotta have armed security or somebody around you. He's at that plateau now where he can get it. Fortunately, you know, but it's unfortunate too because he, you know, he don't live that life to you where he. Right, wow. like he like he needs security all the time. Yeah, it's like it's a fact. Like he do need it. Like, but you know, it's just like because you know, like I said, he's comfortable with his skin. He's comfortable with who he is. You know what I'm saying? Like he's never crossed anybody, so he wants to worry about nothing. Now the people that hate on Safari because he left the hood and he don't come back around. Like you know, that's just regular shit. You know, they're gonna hate. They're not because they don't know. Like people are gonna always hate or. Be upset with something they don't understand or they don't see. You know what I mean? Like, I've been around this dude. All he does is work, 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 work. That's all he does, you know? He's steady looking for that hit. I've never seen somebody so so dedicated. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's so real. I got footage of this guy from when I was a cat last year with him. And he was just in the studio all night going at it. I'm like, damn, you're not bored? <laughs> After two months, I'm like, man, I want to go home. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's he right. Like, he don't be sitting, he don't troll nobody. He don't be sitting there thinking about nobody. He ain't nobody thinking, thinking about me. But man, he don't give a damn about none of these people. <laughs> trying to get to that bag, and that's it. 
That's what's up. I mean, that's, so that's why he got a hit song out here. But he got, he got a ton of hits. He had like three hits in a row. MVP, I mean, NFL was a hit. Then he got uh, Paradise. Then he came with Honey. I'm like, man, he came with three in a row. Three in a row. Oh, yeah. I mean, he'd been broke that. Like, now, but that's why, like, about, let's say, two years or a year and a half ago, he couldn't really come out. He was doing stuff, but nobody was, they couldn't check for him. Right. It wasn't that. It's just they couldn't because, you know, the ex had the radio stations, her management, you know, they was keeping him at bay. Like, how dare you let him on your station? You know, if he leave or do an interview somewhere, she going to call up or they call him and you know what it is. I so will. I so will. That's how we started. He told me, he's like, man, my, my my guy put me up on you, man. And I was like, that's when we first started chatting on uh, on the gram. And because when it first went down, I was like, is this real? You know, I'm like, this. but I knew it was something personal from when he was doing the interview because he said he was wearing his red fur coat. If this is a regular robbery or somebody who don't know you, they taking everything. <laughs> right. That's how you know it's personal. Or somebody who know you, they like, hey, you can keep that code. I'm going to leave you that. Let me tell you how dumb you were. How dumb you were. You were a chef, right? You were a chef. You were a Yeah, plus he was going he had he was going to the radio station that day. So he probably was gonna be flashy, you know, going to the radio, you know, TV, you gear up, you know, you finna be flashy. Yeah. But that night though, in particular, that morning in out of that. That jewelry that he got, he wore a lot of it. 
Over 200K, my nigga. Over 200K. Wow. So it's like they must have knew. You know what I'm saying? Because he was working all night. That's what happened. He was, they must have been following him or they must have, or the person that, or the person that put them on, let him know his, his schedule, you know what he's doing, where he's at, you know what I mean? And they're like, yo, we need to be right here. Because it don't make no sense. They came into his parking lot on the second floor. On the second floor. That was a, that was definitely a setup. A hundred percent. 150% set up. Comes out of his car, takes a few steps, people running up to him with a gun and poking him with in the face. Get on the floor, get on the floor. That was a setup. That was a setup. Wow. He got caught, though, man. He got caught, 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 they caught them in the traffic. One got away, two got caught. But the one that got caught, and we heard the name, and we knew who it was. Like, yeah, this is a little bit more deeper than you know that people are thinking. It wasn't random. It was a personal thing, and it was an inside job. But it comes from an outside camp. But it was an inside job. Somebody in our camp was dealing with the outside camps, especially the camps that don't like us. Is that what I'm saying? Mm. So, yeah, so that's. That first, for that person to, and for that nigga to even be there, the person that, that I caught, for him to be there, that just gave up everything. That just automatically, automatically gave us like, I'm not no cop. I never wanted to to be a cop, but I broke that case down myself. Oh, yeah. I, was, I, was I mean, around. yeah, the streets would do that quick. Once they hear a name, you can't even yeah. say, you ain't no, I ain't had nothing. They acted on their own. Streets don't even go that way. If, if he did it, you did it with him. And the crazy thing is, this was a second attempt from the same guy. Oh. Second attempt. Yeah. Because they tried that. Remember they had the All-Star game in New York a couple years back? Yeah. They had an All-Star game a couple years back. And um, same dude, he called one of the, the, the bodyguards. He's cool with the bodyguard. Yeah, yeah, man, nah, nah, nah. I'm coming to get that nigga. Uh, I don't know what exactly he told, but the body guy was telling the story. I don't know if he offered him money. I don't know the numbers, whatever. But I think he offered him something. He said, you know, get him. The body guy, like, he's crazy. Like, I'm working for him. He's my best. He's my friend. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to do that to him. I praise that body guy right there. You know what I'm saying? At first, I was skeptical about him, but I praised him for that. You know what I'm saying? And when he did that, I showed him that, okay, loyalty is loyalty. You don't earn loyalty in day. You earn loyalty day by day. To me, it's my eye, at least. I'm saying it's day by day. So it's like, when he did that, when the dude did that, his bodyguard was like, no, I ain't doing that, blah, blah, blah. Dude still came and tried to catch him in front of the Barclay Center when they were having the two point contest. Because, you know, they had the events in the in the Barclay Center, and then they had the All Star game in the hat, in the garden. Right. The play. So he was at the event in Brooklyn where they were doing the two point contest, skill challenge, all of that stuff. And, uh, you know, the other celebrity games and stuff. So while I guess he was going in, dude came out with a couple of dudes and tried to snatch a chain or try to do some crazy shit, man. But then, you know, we had a lot of people there that night, and it was not going to happen. But yeah, this, but this was just, this was the second attempt, and they succeeded, but they fucked up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That bounty must have went up. That's how I look at it. The bounty went up. Because the bounty that it was before, it really, when it came out a couple years ago, you know, it was a bounty. But and then when we see the dude come back again, I automatically said to myself, yo, the bounty went up and it was too sweet for him not to do this. Because he, I don't understand how you even do that when the building's filled with cameras. Like, that building was almost like the Trump Towers. Like, how stupid can you be? You know what I'm saying? Like, it made no sense, man. And then for what? And I was looking at a whole bunch of charges. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they don't think that. And then the yeah, the person you the, the person you trying to impress, they gonna have to pay your bills and they might not be able to. They might not be able to they don't want to get involved with you. Exactly. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs>
That's what I'm saying. You, what point do you get? Right, exactly. It's like, what point you gonna get off that? He telling you himself that ain't what he do. That's like me. Like I was like, like dude, I'll be out here talking about some. I'm tough, and I could whoop thirty thousand people in the row. I could probably whoop twenty thousand, but not thirty. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We make that assumption. You See, once you once you throw the truth in their face, they can't use it against you. It's like it's like putting on a bulletproof vest. You straight, and that's what it is. 